Years ago, in what now seems like aviation's romantic period, pilots were thought to be near superhuman people. The image of the intrepid aviator fearlessly dashing through the skies in his flying machine, defying the laws of gravity to return to Earth was the general public's perception. That image has undergone some changes since then, and today we are left with an image of a pilot as an accomplished technical expert with a high level of skill, involved in an occupation which appears to most of us to be beyond our reach. What is important to remember is that even though the pilot is a highly trained individual, he or she remains a normal person, one subject to all the frailties and failings of the human being. When we fly, there are many pressures, influences, and distractions placed upon us. These pressures increase depending on how complicated our flying tasks become. In the old days, accidents were often caused by mechanical or structural failure. The aircraft were literally held together with bailing wire and chewing gum, often not for very long. Advances in technology have largely eliminated material cause factors, yet we still have accidents. Today, most accidents result from human performance factors. The fact that a person or a group of people respond in a very human way to a particular set of circumstances. Accident investigators now see an accident as the culmination of a series of events, and they ask why. Why did this person do this? What influenced him or her? What caused this breakdown in human performance? How far back along the chain of events was the first weak link? Mechanical problems with the aircraft, a breakdown of the air traffic system, or weather, all provide us with go, no-go decisions. Human performance factors should be treated in the same manner. Realizing that we are human and subject to such stresses as anxiety, fatigue, fear, and anger can help us reduce the risk of these emotions interfering with our ability to conduct a safe flight. And human factors affect everyone in aviation, not just pilots. Shift work places pressure on air traffic controllers and maintainers. Economic pressures face airline managers daily in a variety of ways. Human performance factors affect aircraft system designers. While a lot of these pressures might seem to be beyond anyone's control, in actual fact, a lot of them are well within our ability to control. But it is important to understand that our ability to do our job correctly may be impaired. We may not forget the distraction, but if we are conscious of it, we may be able to avoid them creating an accident. One of the most common mistakes pilots make is to self-medicate when they are not feeling 100% prior to going flying. We have to be wary of running to the corner drugstore for a quick remedy. Some possible side effects of over-the-counter drugs could include drowsiness, and these can easily be worsened by altitude. Self-medication can be a very dangerous thing in aviation, no matter what we take. When in doubt, we should ask our doctor for advice. And if that headache is the result of a hangover, the morning after a memorable night before is definitely not the best time to fix, fly, or control airplanes. Remember that the human body is no different than a machine. After a certain time, our warranty begins to run out and it is important to make sure that we are providing it with regular maintenance. Otherwise, it may not last as long as we expect. The age-old truism of regular exercise, healthy eating habits, and adequate rest apply even more to those of us engaged in flying activities. External stresses, such as trying to juggle family matters with our schedule, can appear to be small and simple, yet their insidious nature can be the cause of many accidents. Ego can be one of the most dangerous of all the factors as it causes many of us to discard our best judgment and to do things which we normally would know to be foolhardy or even dangerous. The urge to push on despite inclement weather, or the need to demonstrate our superior flying skills, have ended more often than not in a preventable tragedy. So we're all affected by human factors. Pilots may indeed be the last line of defense against an incident or accident, but they depend on the rest of us to do our part. One way of doing this is to remain aware of the many ways in which we can break down and try to guard against them. After all, Accidents cost more than money. I'm Mike Dwaron, inviting you to return next week to fly with us through the overcast.